Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the exciting world of Metro Last Light, where we are in this hideous spider-infested tunnel or crab creature, or whatever these things are. I'm not entirely sure myself, and I believe when that beep happens, it means our flashlight has full power, so there's no point in trying to get the universal charger out. Yes, I will take your stuff, buddy. Oh, oh he's just... Oh! Oh! See, I told you sometimes one big grown-up one to burst out of the eggs for some reason. Yeah, yeah, run away. Suffer, suffer! Yes. So where's our... There's all these webs, I burned them out of the way. So I can make a speedy getaway. It'd be embarrassing getting stuck on spider webs once I'm running out of here. Are they spiders? Are they... Scorpions? Crabs? Who knows? They're kind of a big problem in any case. You're a big one. You're a big one. Oh! Oh, that one had a sting there. That's weird. Oof, oh no. I went to the wrong room. By the looks of it. Yeah, burn, 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 burn. See, this is where it gets tricky when there's more than one. You can't keep your light on. Just one of them. Come on, one of these... You time to burn away, you ugly monster. Gotcha. This, if ever, is a place to save your ammo because Oh, you're still here for more, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucker, 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 yeah. Since these guys die with just the um Ooh. Aha! This may be a safe room. Thanks to that uh, light there. So yeah, since these guys die from the light, you're tempted to save ammo simply by smoking them with the light. Now, when things get as real as they did a second ago, you are also tempted to put a couple of bullets in them, as you saw me do. Just go. Of course, we also always have the option. Here's the shinier and tougher military military grade rounds, but uh. Let's stick with these crummy ones for now. Oh, I see. No wonder I was warm. This seemed to be like their main egg chamber. Those all look like babies. They're not a big deal. Ooh, you can burn the eggs as well. Kind of. See, that got turning all splotchy from my light. It's perfect. Can't you open this? I thought you could open that to get a shortcut. Maybe I was wrong. Well, here we are. We took the long way. This should power up the... Uh, I think we're powering up an elevator. And here we see a nice little cache of stuff. Oh! Motion. But we're gonna take the short way back, like so. Everything are okay here, Pavel? Oh, talent не пробьешь, молочага. Готов? Первый пошел. All right, to get this lock open. That's what we were worrying about here. All right, locks open. Everything's good. Zamnoy. By the way, if you're curious, the timer on the on March. The detail has to last just a little bit. Entry to metro, according to everything, should be somewhere near. But how small it would have been, this distance. Нам предстоит пройти его по поверхности, а наверху каждый шаг и каждый вдох oh может my. стать последним. We are going to the surface, unfortunately. Mm. Very much reminding of the first Metro, with us digging around with Bourbon through various spooky tunnels and then the surface before getting to a station. Here it's uh, gonna be uh, with Pavel here. So Artyom's watch shows a time on it. That's a um, real-time watch. Actually, that's the time I'm recording as we speak, actually. It's kind of funny. So I could technically tell when I recorded an hour by keeping an eye on the watch in you know, the game, which is a bit silly. This is surprisingly cozy. 
Of course, um, as you may have also noticed, once we put on the gas mask and the filter, the watch actually shows the remaining time left on the um, current filter you have. Which is really good, because I I could never tell from the watch in the original game. No, no not... No! Oh! Ah, oh, goddammit, I meant to press cancel and then this... Прибыли, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I got that thing already, so let's check it then. Echoes. So, yeah, I'm... I couldn't tell with the original game's watch, which wasn't a digital countdown timer. I really could not read what how much time there was left on my filter, so this is way more preferable, this digital watch in this game. Okay, more of Artyom's diaries. Since the day we ended up in the metro, I have gone up to the surface only a few times. The background radiation is too high there, so frequent ventures out translate into grave illnesses to those brave enough to attempt them. One has to stay constantly alert on the surface. The pollution tends to be uneven. There are hot spots which could dole out a lethal dose of radiation in a matter of minutes, while some places could actually be habitable if not for the monsters and unbearable gloominess. The eye can't discern between a safe place and a hot spot. You have to use a Geiger counter. You can't go out to the surface without a gas mask either. We used to own the earth. Today, although I still remember that summer day in the gardens with my mom, I almost can't believe it actually happened. I can't believe I used to live in one of those tall houses and could look up at the sky every day. It's as if Metro was always my home. But I still miss that world we lost. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, sure. Also spiders quite a bit. Okay, now we're back in business. А где были сталкеры? Там. Черт, фильтров маловато. Uh oh. Ну ничего, на наш век хватит. Не стесняйся, бери. Здесь все сталкеры, братья. Well, let's load up then. Only one? Well, it'll, it'll do for now. Much like the first game, we're gonna have to keep close eyes uh, everywhere we go часы. for filters. They're the most valuable thing on the surface. Also, it's nice when you're in an area which isn't actually lethal, the filter is not wasted. You can see the five minute countdown timer is not going down. That's super nice, you know? It's a small little help. So you could technically walk around the whole game with this thing on if you really felt like it, although that would be a bit weird. Let me just turn off the lights before we leave. It's the only polite thing. Yeah, on it. I'm just going to charge up my light. Ты, конечно, стрелянный воробей, но в таких переделках еще явно не бывал. Really now? Так что помни, если хочешь жить, не расслабляйся ни на секунду. Ooh, it's daytime. And oh my eyes! Ого! That's what they said in the first game. Is the, the, the first book is that um, you couldn't be on the surface of daytime because your metro eyes weren't used to sunlight. Здание, в которое он врезался, вход на театральную там. А на поверхности это все тает. Прям весна, Артём. Повезёт и до лета доживём. Oh, that's why everything's a bit nifty. It was winter in the first game, I guess. Справа от самолёта должен быть подземный переход. Сталкеры через него площадь обходят. Вон по крылу можно спуститься. Да, недолго солнышко сияло. Yes, wind from the plane. Oh, so that's what the weather's like in the future now. Now, oh my goodness! So, first moral point of this area is in this tunnel. Oops, that was a throwing knife I didn't meant to throw. Should be a cache somewhere in this long ass, long ass sewage pipe. There we go. Because you got filters. Oh, I can't pick up the filter. I guess I'm full on filter. Well, I don't want to leave this. So, um, hold on. Where did you switch the the T? There we go. Oh, come on. Why aren't you picking up? There we go. Ooh, I was scared for a second. There was a weird bug in the first game where you couldn't carry a certain amount of 
filters now, could you? Okay, sorry, Pavel. I know, you're, you don't have a filter on you. Oops, sorry, buddy. The surface segment's always tense in the Metro games, because that, that timer's ticking, boy. That timer's ticking. Where'd you get off to, Pavel? Ooh, that's... that's, uh, that's quite the ruin, isn't it? Holy! Oh. Scary, sure, I guess. Now let's see, we next should be... There should be another moral point right nearby, it's here by the plane's tail. Hello? Is it there? Was it on the other side, damn it? Okay, we need to move it. There should be a skeleton somewhere lying somewhere around here. Huh. Oh, maybe it's on the other side of this, this sucker. Okay, never, let's go, carry on. Where'd you go, Pavel? Uh, you won't be needing this. Oh, this was the skeleton. Okay, then. Oh, this wasn't the way we meant to go. Okay, never mind. This was a, this was a dead end. I thought we were moving ahead in that direction. I can't really tell on the surface. It's much more open than the first game, this uh, surface area, so it's harder to tell. Yeah, more filters. Everything's fine. Everything's super fine. Okay. Ooh, this is... This is uncomfortable. Sorry, where? Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh my goodness, that's... that's not nice. I believe the third moral point is right away. I don't know. Do you guys like me doing this like whole guide thingy? Like, how do you get these points? It's a nice experiment, I think. Here we go. Blood stain. Did something come in here? There's some good stuff here. That's a bit creepy. So yeah, more filters, more bullets. If you keep your eyes open. There's plenty of filter to go around. So it's not as scary as you might think at first. This whole situation, I don't think. Uh, which this one? It's clear. I think. Shotgun ammo. Watchmen. Okay, there's wa wa or watchers or I can't remember the watchers or watchmen. Shotgun. Oh, that's pretty nice. And that was the fourth. Moral point for here, finding the shotgun. Oh my! Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm not on the menu today. Oops. Go. Isn't that the gun I just had? Can't I carry? Can't I carry two guns? Ah, uh, of course. That was a really cool gun, but I think we're hunting muties mainly on the surface, so... I think we'll... We will use the shotgun for a while now. Okay, it's clear now, Pavel. It's fine. This? Oh, this is nothing. Okay, turn off the light, I don't want to draw attention. Oh my, there's so many of them. Oh my god, Pavel. Madman, where are you taking us? God, this is scared. And that's another moral point for not blowing our cover. You can actually lose a point here by attacking the Watchman. But that's not very smart of you. Okay, yeah, I'm freaking getting the cover of the play. I suppose that's better than nothing. Yeah. Define weird shit. That's a, a lot of weird shit happens around here, Pavel. I don't know 
what we're talking about here. Oh, hey, weather's back to passable. Cool. Let's see, can I get this baby? It's a bit jammed shut. Oh. It's working. It's working. Ooh. Whoa. The, the plane headed for Moscow is now yes, in the uh, These poor people were all coming to Moscow someday. Yeah, hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> Seeing anything? No, but I heard something a second ago. Did you just hear? Did you hear someone yelling? Oh. And that's another moral point for encountering these weird hallucinations here in the plane. Oh, no! Oh my goodness. It's another haunting, you know. Ghost of a plane! Stop it! Stop it! Make it stop! I didn't want this! Oh my god! I'm in the freaking pilots! Pavel! Pavel, I'm coming, buddy! Hang the hell on! Ugh. Easy, 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 easy. Put your mask back on, you crazy moron. Get the mask on. Quick. Breathe, breathe. Okay, big. In and out, in and out. Whew. Okay, let's check it out real quick. We got a diary while Pavel gets his um, shit back together. The red line is one of the biggest and strongest states in the metro, occupying almost a whole line. But for as long as I can remember, the Reds always used to preach that their goal was the installation of communism throughout the whole of the metro, the restoration of a destroyed state that used to be based on the ideals of equality and justice. The problem is the independent stations keep their distance from the Red Line as best as they can, which means they can't restore the Red State without strife. Yes, the Reds are no angels, but what the Nazis are doing is regular horror, and I am happy to have an ally like Pavel, even if he is Red. That's a good way to think about it, I think. Oh, sp oh, spider bugs is what those things are called. Okay, then. Whew, and where were you all that time, buddy? Uh-oh, a minute down on our filter. You okay, dude? Artem, давай направо. Вход должен быть за этим зданием. Huh? I, I think we missed a point, unfortunately. Short demon! Trash him up! Shit! These guys are tough. I'm down on a filter. Fly off! Cover me! I'm switching a filter. Okay. Good to go. Oh! Oh no! This, I did not want this to happen. So I think, unfortunately, you've missed one moral point. I think we weren't close enough to Pavel while he was telling, while he was telling his story to us after saving him. So I think we lost a point there, unfortunately. I didn't get a flash. There. Oh my God, this is the worst. And what are you saying about owing you one? I've saved your bacon like 17 times. No. Where? Behind us! Shit, 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 shit! Ja! 
Die! Die, you monsters! You don't belong in this world. Actually, we're the ones who don't belong in this surface world. Besides, oh, you're still alive, buddy. Oh! Short! Okay, okay, just you lead me. You, you take the lead. Okay, keep, keep those legs moving, buddy. What is making that noise? What's the plan? Okay, I'm going up. I, I got it. I see him, I see him. Oh shit, where is the entrance? No, you don't. Shit, load, 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 load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We survive ourselves. Okay, that's the plan. Oh shit, open that door! Ah, okay, sorry, I blinked. We were playing chicken and I... I blinked here with these monsters. Oh! No! Come on! Light him up, boys! Yeah! Cook you! Damn uglies! Yeah! Score one for mankind again! Oh, shut up, Marvel. <laughs> Короткое свидание с мертвой Москвой, призраком прошлого, закончилось. Мы с Павлом снова выручили друг друга и обратно в метро спускаемся уже с паяным тандемом. В пустошах, иначе не выжить. Но теперь впереди обитаемая станция, театральная. Отсюда до полиса рукой подать. Если Паша сможет провести меня через блок поста oh, красной I mean, я буду своих уже через час. Павел still thinks that we owe him, I guess, but uh, you know, maybe with a bit of a few military grade rounds, he'll he'll talk us through. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, Pavel's all right, dude. He's a. Uh, I, I prefer him over Bourbon, certainly. I mean, Bourbon just wasted a lot of time making stupid jokes. He wasn't nearly as good in a fight as Pavel here, I think. Man, you guys are ready to rumble. Look at this amazing armor these guys have. Are those pants made out of tires? Is that what I see here? Or... Okay, Bolshoi, this, this level, has a million moral points, so I'm gonna have to play careful here. Unfortunately, we don't have, can't lose any here, so I'm just gonna be very careful. Um, oh, oh, you really want me to come through, okay. So, okay, here we are in the theater. How are you folks doing? Okay, as happy as any other. Place in the metro, huh? Okay. But that animation looks a bit weird. Ah, oh, there's no text again. That's a bit of a shame. Because the game does give certain conversations text. This one's a bunch of families who are trying to get an entrance to the theater with a bunch of like refugees and stuff. Man, this is a cool retro card, by the way. Also, wow. You know, I have a laundry bag that looks exactly like this one in real life. I'm happy to know it uh, survived the nuclear holocaust. And apparently spawned a million clones of itself. Look at all these. <laughs> Look at all these laundry bags here. That's funny. Okay, that's the first moral point in these guys' stories. Should I... I don't know. Um, let's see. Sound. 
game options, text. Oh, we can't change the spoken language at this point in words too, but I, maybe having them speak English here in the uh, here in these metro segments. But you can't apparently decide, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to try and survive with this. Uh, Use all this Russian going on. So these two people are survivors from the Reich, actually. They escaped the Nazi base. So here's another moral point: is using them to tell their story. A little story about their escape. Well, you are really anti Nazis, aren't you? Do you need to like use the bathroom, lady? You look like you look really. Oh, you're just really cold now, I see. I get that. Oh, this guy's a stone-cold killer, too, so he's super fine. Uh, yeah, but only on Thursdays, man. You know, the... Too much, uh, too much traffic on the road. And stuff. Huh, we didn't get a point after all. Damn it, this guy lied to me. Ah, bother. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll carry on. Pavel's looking like, why is Artyom standing around listening to these random guys? Oh, you look scary. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm okay with that. And these guys look surly, don't they? <laughs> Look at this dude here. Oh, thank you. It's fantastic to finally get some rest in this nightmare world. Just excuse me. Theater, huh? Let's go find out why this place is called that. I. We don't have a lot of time to dig around. We have to move on so we can find the dark one. The little baby dark one. I, I'm responsible for that thing, whether I like it or not. You okay, sir? Uh -oh. Amazing there's no moral points involved in this guy. Also, is that a Metro brand pants he's wearing? Am I saying that right? Hey there, buddy. Подайте последнему театральному критику. Подайте, кто сколько может. Aw, this is too bad that we don't get... Subtitles here. Alms for the man shunned by the brave new world. So this guy is, in fact, he used to be a <laughs> theater critic, but now he's just a beggar because no one cares about theater critics in the terrible future. And he is, of course, begging for. We got plenty of MGR. We can. Now we get the <laughs> <laughs> That's his biggest problem. Yeah, what a sad story. I don't know, is this the makers of the game like ripping on critics or something? Or are they just being just silly about it? Actually, this is a really passionate explanation about the need of critics. That's the way I'm looking at it. <laughs> this is kind of funny. And it's not like the Metro makers of Metro to worry about criticism. They're, both of their games are really good. I mean, there are stuff to criti critique, of course. But still, you know, you should be proud about the game you made, guys. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm very bad with criticism, but you give a very passionate speech about the necessary necessary need of critics, so have another bullet on you, buddy. Awesome. All right. That burlaki. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't speak Russian. Ooh. Those are some fancy bottles here in this. Oh, that says vodka. I know what that means. Sign on the left there. 
Да именно из-за разрухи и смерти театральная и нужна. Не будет тут театра, как только... So these two guys are discussing about the necessaryness of theater in a post-apocalyptic world. Is there even any point for a theater? There wasn't really any point for critics. So what about theaters? Apparently they found something to agree on, but since I don't speak Russian, I have no idea. I'm just reading here. That's uh, now you give us freaking. Не слушай ты его парень. Он вечно как выпит и сам расстроится и другим настроение So we should have gotten four. We've only gotten three, but that was the fourth point in this area. One of them was listening to the right couple. What are you advertising here, buddy? That is weird. You're advertising this, I think, this establishment. Cool. Can I have a... No? Hey, can I get some freaking service here, buddy? You okay there, old man? Nah, he's not listening to us. He has a cool collection of bottles. Now here's the next moral point. Not this guitar, but I'm gonna strum it anyway. Here's a pair of stalkers from the surface, and they're telling this poor lady Katya that her husband was killed by a demon. And they're telling her where the gravesite of Katya's husband was. Very sad. I'm sorry guys, this is a bit awkward, and, um, all this Russian dialogue with no subtitles, so we don't really know what they're talking about, but we want the moral points, we gotta put up with the Russian. It's interesting, is the Russian track in this game actually better than the English one? I don't know, because I played this the first time actually English, actually. Um, there we go. Oh, poor Katya. It, you, you, you'll get over it, I'm sure. Don't worry about it. These two ladies should also be talking and give a point, but they don't seem to be in a talking mood. Hmm. 